What is the passé composé? Well, this is a past tense that used in French a lot to describe actions that were completed in the past. Now, more specifically, these actions were performed at a specific time or happened within a specific time frame. This is important to note because the most difficult part of the passé composé is not the tense itself. It's the fact that it is almost always used um, in a combination with the imparfait in the text. And, and these two past tenses are used together and describe different actions. And this is something that we will talk about again in the future. Now, I've got very good news for you. Once you know how to use the passé composé, you can conjugate in other tenses as well. So the first one is the plus que parfait. All you have to do is to put the auxiliary verb in the imparfait. Then you have the conditionnel passé. You just put the auxiliary verb in the conditionnel. And finally, the future antérieur, if you put the auxiliary verb in the future. So we've started using the term auxiliary verb. Um, so what, what is the passé composé? How does it work? Well, it's fairly simple. It's a composed tense that is using an auxiliary verb. The auxiliary verb is être or avoir, conjugated in the present tense. And this is followed by the verb itself in the past participle form. Very quickly, two examples. Nous avons mangé. So you can see that the subject here is nous. Avons is the auxiliary verb, that's avoir in the present tense. And manger is the past participle. Another example using être. Ils sont arrivés. Il is the subject. Son is the verb être, conjugated in the present tense. And arriver is the past participle. So now I'm going to explain to you how we choose the auxiliary verb, être or avoir, and how the past participle works. That's in the coming videos.